Hi there, my lovelies, this is Jana here. Welcome to my kitchen. Look what I have in front of me. This is a vegan codfish cake. Yes, I know. This is uh, a delicacy from Portugal that it's very, very popular in Brazil. <laughs> yes, it is uh, widely consumed all over Brazil because, you, you know, Brazil has a, a different uh, food culture, depends on where you live because it's huge. It's a continental country, so it differs, depends on where you live now. Um, uh, uh, north, south, east, west, I mean, it's all different, but this is a uh, an <laughs> unanimity, if you can say this word. No, okay, I'm gonna stop babbling, I'm gonna show you how it's made. All right, first we need a big potato, and uh, we're going to bake this potato in a bed of salt. But first we're going to prick the potato because we want it to release all its water. And this is important because we're not going to add uh, any flour to these um, codfish, vegan uh, codfish cake, because uh, we want it only, we want only the potato and the cornstarch to do its job without any flour. So if you boil the potato, uh, then it's going to have extra water and then you're going to, you're going to have to add flour at your mixture. We don't want that, so bake it. All right, so now we're going to bake it for 40 minutes at uh, 200 degrees Celsius or 392 Fahrenheit. So now that the potato is baking, we're going to um, saute some shallots or onions. I mean, whichever you prefer. Just, I just want it to mince it very, very finely, okay? Because I don't want it to stand out uh, in the cake because the star of the cake is the, not the fish. I'll show you what it is. But we're going to add olive oil to a skillet. And when hot, we're going to add the minced shallots or onions. Allow them to become golden brown. Add minced garlic, saute for about 40 seconds, turn off the heat and reserve. Oh, but Chef Gianna, this is a fish dish, you can't uh, make a mock fish. I can do whatever the hell I want, because this is my channel. And if it's my channel, I'll do whatever I want. And you too, and that's why we're here, right? We vegans, we are sort of a alchemists, aren't we? I keep saying that because we transform vegetables into practically whatever we want. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're going to use my favorite fish substitute, uh, which is widely available here, I must say. I don't know why this mushroom is so available here in Gran Canaria, but the oyster mushroom, okay? It can also be shimeji mushroom. Those two, they have this uh, fishy taste Go figure, I don't know why. But also, you can use a king, king oyster mushroom, uh, you can use jackfruit, and you can use hearts of palm. If you use hearts of palm or canned jackfruit, you make sure that they are very, very, very pet dry before, very well pet dry before you add it to the recipe or shred them, okay? Because we don't want extra unwanted liquids in our recipe. So we're going to uh, shred the um, mushrooms in a food processor and we're going to first break them a little bit to help them process better. And now we're going to pulse it four to five times. You can't overdo it. If you see that there are some bigger ones, you shred it with your hands. And now we're going to add this mixture into a bowl. We're going to add the sauteed onions and garlic. And now we're going to use, because I want the potatoes super fluffy and fine, we're going to use a potato ricer. This is the best, best tool. Now some fresh parsley, salt and pepper, cornstarch. And for that extra sea flavor, we're going to add some kelp powder or uh, some crushed nori sheets, whichever you prefer. Some fresh thyme. 
uh, it wouldn't be my channel if I hadn't forgotten something which is very very important for this recipe which is a um, uh, ground nutmeg okay a pinch very important don't skip it okay I totally forgot <laughs> I completely forgot but uh, it's very important for these um, vegan codfish cake also you're going to add some extra cornstarch as you go along because uh, I can't give you an exact measurement, you're gonna have to use your judgment because uh, I don't know how wet your potato actually is, I don't know how much water your uh, mushrooms actually have, so it varies, you know, you're gonna have to use, like I said, your um, uh, common sense, you're gonna have to be able to shape it in your hand and it, it's, it's gonna feel relative, relatively firm, I will show you. Now we gently mix to combine. And then we're gonna put it in a fridge for about 30 minutes. This step will make it easier to shape the cakes and it will make them crispier when we fry them or bake them. Poppy is snoring here. Here. Cute. So now because, li because life is made out of choices or at least it should be, uh, you can choose how you're gonna shape your um, vegan codfish cakes uh, in Portugal what I have been what I have seen the many times that I've been to Portugal is that they use a technique called the quenelle where they have a, they shape it using two spoons like you see but uh, I'm gonna go for the easiest way and I'm gonna um, shape them into oblong shapes or like a croquette shapes you can make little balls whatever you prefer All right, so um, after you shape them, tip, chef's tip, put them in the freezer for 15 minutes. Again, because this process, this step is going to allow them to become crispier when you fry them or bake them. And you can also bread them. You know, how like you would bread anything that you're used to bread, but uh, I chose not to because that's, again, that's how they serve it in Portugal. Anywhere in Brazil, they used to bread it, okay? But in Portugal, not so much. And uh, yeah, so you, it's, I'm excited, sorry, because it's been so delicious. All right, so now we're going to fry them. It is very important that you check the temperature of your oil when you're frying something. Uh, rule of thumb, it cannot be too hot because it's going to brown the surface or burn the surface of your food and then inside is going to be raw. Or if it's too, hot, uh, too cold, uh, it's going to fall apart, it's going to lose its shape, it's going to be a mess. Or it's going to be, or no, for sure, it's going to be extra greasy, mushy and totally disgusting <laughs> that's the word sorry it's not gonna be good so if you can invest in a thermometer that would be very good uh the ideal temperature is 180 degrees celsius or that will be 365 degrees fahrenheit pardon 185 degrees celsius or 365 fahrenheit okay pay attention to that just, uh, I decided to uh, fry them just for the sake of presentation because they look nicer on camera when you fry them. I have made them uh, baked. They didn't look so nice. It didn't photograph well. They tasted amazing though. How would you do that? You put it in the oven, preheated oven at 185 degrees Celsius, 365 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 25, 30 minutes, depending on your oven. Flip them halfway through the cooking time.
like um it reminds me so much of brazil because oh do you know um this is a boteco food boteco is a, a bar uh where they have a like a, um they serve beers and it's all over brazil the botecos and then they sit down and then they have um to counterbalance the alcohol factor, they eat a lot of fried food. Uh, so this reminds me a lot of Brazil. Uh, I haven't, I have never had a real one because I never liked fish. And uh, I must say to you, it's scary the resemblance with real fish. It's like um, my brain, my brain couldn't process it because it was kind of um, yeah, you eating fish. So if you miss fish go for it uh, amazing even without the nori uh, sheets uh, the crushed nori, nori sheets or the kelp it like i said because the mushrooms they have this uh, present uh, taste of fish it actually doesn't need it so much so make it and uh, if you make it please tag me facebook instagram and uh, yeah that's it <laughs> i'm only on facebook and instagram and that's enough because it's a lot of work take pictures i love when you recreate my recipes and you put your twist on it i get so happy because that's my job here to inspire you to do um, delicious food because as we say the best cooks and the best chefs are not the ones that make extraordinary things and difficult things but are the ones that make the everyday food tastes better and that's why i'm here if i can help you to do that then mission accomplished and i will see you next time have a fabulous week don't forget to like this video subscribe and give it uh, give it a thumbs up <laughs> i just said that okay see you next time love you bye